What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Sig Pulse. We have another Pokemon Saturday edition on the channel today, and I'm super excited because we are going back to the past. And we are opening a product from 1999 Tops. Now, if you guys are unfamiliar, this is definitely different than the regular trading card Pokemon cards. Um, as these cards are just illustrations, so kind of like full arts before full arts were actually a thing. And you'll see what I mean in a second when we get these open. Um, but really quick, we were running a giveaway for a Vivid Voltage Charizard really quick. So I'll be right back and we'll do that giveaway and then we'll come back to the video. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and copy the link to our video from last week. And we're going to go ahead into the comment picker here. And we're going to paste that URL from the video. And we're going to filter duplicate. And you must have said Charizard to win. And we're going to go ahead and get the comments. And it looks like there was 22 commenters, so you have a 1 in 22 shot. Thank you to everybody who entered. And let's go ahead and start it. And the winner is Shaylin Meta. I don't know if I said your name right. I apologize if I didn't. But you commented Charizard exclamation point and fire. Yes. So that Charizard from Vivid Voltage is going to be yours. All you have to do is just um, send me an email or in a DM on Instagram. My information is in the description below where you can contact me and I will get that out to you right away. And now back to the video. All right, and now that the giveaway is over, I just do want to mention if you are new to the channel, we do run giveaways like that from time to time. Um, it is only open to subscribers. So go ahead and pound that subscribe button. We do one Pokemon video a week on Saturdays, and then I do about three or four sports card openings during the week as well. So if you're like both, you're definitely in the right spot. But if you only like one or the other, you can still watch what you like and still get into the giveaways. And we have a ton of new Pokemon stuff coming to the channel anyway. Um, we will have Battle Styles and Shining Fates coming out. Um, Shining Fates is actually first. Shining Fates is next month, and then Battle Styles in March. Along with some throwback Pokemon rips like this, we've had a full case of Champions, Path of the Voltage, all the good stuff. So that's what we have coming for Pokemon on our Saturday episodes. Um, but yeah, let's just get these cards open. I'm super excited. Um, as you can see, um, there is one foil card in every pack, and then there's bonus one extra pack. Um, so it says contains 10 packs and 7 cards. So we should be getting 70 cards. Um, along with that, I am a little nervous to open this today just because these cards um, have been in this box for a very long time. And I just, I have a feeling that they're gonna be bricked. But let's just go ahead and do it. We already broke the seal. And definitely nervous for that, but I am definitely excited to get these open today. So top trading cards. That's how it comes in here. They're all shifted around a little bit. Let's, we're gonna go ahead and take, just take them all out, but as you can see, what's really cool about these packs, still has the 199 on them. That's how much they were back in the day. Obviously these go for a lot more now, considering it's old Pokemon, not nearly as much as the 2000 Tops Chrome version goes for, but still, I think these boxes, I wanna say are around 400 bucks now, which is pretty expensive. I'm happy to be opening this today. Definitely going to have the nostalgia feel because I opened these cards back in the day when I was a kid. Um, it is a TV animation version, so I believe it's a 76-card base checklist along with those 13 animation cards, and then there's one checklist card as well. Um, but here we go. We're getting into that first pack here. As I am very nervous that these cards are going to be bricked, but let's just find out. I mean, honestly, it's not that bad. I expect it to be worse, but we're going to start off with our first card is the checklist card. Um, so let's see. Yep, 76, and then the 13. Like I said, and this is the one checklist. So there's 90 cards total in here. Even the checklist itself is cool. But we're going to start off with a big tree bell. Really hoping we could hit a Charizard foil today. Ratata. And this is our first foil, and it's a Clefable. And honestly, these cards are not um, in that bad of a shape for being in the a box for 22 years and that looks pretty 
pretty clean, actually. I'm pretty surprised that they're not bricked. I was kind of fearful that they would be. So there we go. Number one card in the set, Bulbasaur. But like you can see, these are kind of, they're, they're full arcs because there's no, um, like, powers or anything on them. But another thing that's cool, too, is this is the first printing of it. How you can tell is by the blue label here along with the background. Um, see how it's like the circles? Those would be different um, images if it was a different print run. There was four print runs of this. The black label is the second. And then there's also green and red. I forget if that's three, which one's three and which one's four. But this is the first ever printing of 1999 Topps Pokemon cards. Obviously, Topps... Oh, these are way more bricked. All right, so I spoke too soon, but that's okay. They're not that bad. So Psyduck. Obviously, we want... And I don't know what I'm doing here. That's our one foil. Uh, Machoke. Gold Duck. Paris. And our next foil is Vile Plume. So like I was saying, though, the top Chrome cards are awesome. Basically, they look the same, except they're Chrome. And the Charizard... War Turtle. The Charizard in... Topps Chrome goes for a lot of money in a PSA 10. Um, but I, I don't know how much those boxes are going for, but they definitely go for a significant amount more. So let me know what you guys think of these Topps Pokemon cards. I remember opening these when I was a kid, so that's why I wanted to open them again. Um, and it's definitely different than the traditional trading card Pokemon. Obviously, they don't go for it nearly as much as any fir regular first editions do. But... Still fun to open and get some of these classic Pokemon that we played with back in the day. And our next foil is a Mankey. Gollum. And there's one of the TV animation cards in Jesse. I'm not really looking for those, to be totally honest with you, though. I want, I'm want i looking for the regular ones. And Pidgey. So no Charizard. We did pull the War Turtle and the Bulbasaur. Was it a Bulbasaur? I can't even remember now. Yeah, it was a bubble. Let's put that out there. We'll put an evolution of one of the main characters out there. Or starter Pokemon, I should say. All right, next pack. Definitely a little bit bricked here. And I'm going to pull it off slowly because I don't want to damage cards too much. All right, we got Weeping Bell. Doug Trio, Geodude, yeah, there's two cards there, but I saw our foil peeking out, and we got a foil Charmeleon, very nice, not Charizard, but it is Charmeleon, the evolution of Charmander, and this is for, this is, these cards are in great shape, I'm actually pretty surprised, I was nervous to open this. Um, just due to that they were in the box for so long that I didn't know what was going to happen with the quality of these cards in the Machamp. I love Machamp. If you guys know, if you guys watch some of my past ones, I love pulling the Machamps, Machokes, Machops. I love all of them. But all right, next pack. Ooh, all right, I just want one Charizard. That's the goal today. Will we hit it? I don't know. I feel like there's not a batch. Too bad of a shot, though, with there being 70 cards and only 76 cards on the checklist, but definitely not guaranteed. All right, so we got a Nidoran, Growlithe, and our next foil is stuck here. Oh, no, that's not the foil. The foil is behind the Abra. Kadabra might be coming back into... Pokemon sets very soon. Next foil is going to be Need Arena. So we'll put that out here for now. Star U animation card. Brock animation card. And a Poliwhirl is the last card in that pack. So we still got a good amount of packs to go. And I am going a little slow with this, guys. So really just feeling the nostalgia here and Taking this all in, and we're going to start off with the Blastoise, just a regular version card, but that's still nice in great condition. That is awesome. Wow. 
and this is the first edition as well so that's really sweet uh butterfree a nice pikachu animation i'll take that professor oak yeah there's a card stock there and raichu hollow sweet so not pikachu i would like to pull the pikachu hollow too but it is raichu and it's the foil how whatever you want to call it that's very cool um, that's going to go over Vile Plume for right now. Next card is a Persian, followed by a Venonat and a Nidorino. All right, so we got five packs to go here. I'll try and speed it up a little bit because I don't want to make this video too long for you guys. But yeah, like I said before, definitely leave a comment below. It helps out a ton for the channel, but also let me know what you guys think of these Topps Pokemon cards. Um, I feel like there's definitely mixed reactions because it isn't part of the regular trading card game. This was more made as a collector's piece. However, you know, with the hobby growing so much, do you guys think these will raise in value along with some of the older Pokemon, uh, Pokemon cards as well? Definitely curious to hear your guys' thoughts on it. Followed by a Clefairy Hollow. So very nice. We'll put that over Clefable. All right. Next card, we got a Poliwag. Zubat, and last card of this pack is a Wigglytuff, so very cool. And we'll get into the next pack here. Also, let me know what your favorite card is, just from Pokemon all time. I've been picking up a few older vintage Pokemon cards, which I'm definitely going to show on the channel soon. But I am curious to hear what are some of your favorites. And we hit a Squirtle. Very nice. That's what I'm talking about. Squirtle. We'll put it over War Turtle. Squirtle, man. I love all the starters. They're awesome. Hopefully, we can put, pull a Charizard and a Charmander in the rest of these packs. But running out of time. We got Beedrill. Charizard. Yes. And followed by a Charizard Hollow! Oh my god, back to back! Awesome! Holy cow, that is awesome. So, the Charizard, and there is a little bit of something going on on the top right there. But it's honestly not too bad. You know, this one I definitely might get graded. Holy smokes, we just went back to back. Two Charizards from 1999 in my hand, just simply amazing to me. This is awesome. Um, yeah, Mankey's going to get covered up here, and we'll cover up the Charmeleon foil for now. So we hit a Charmeleon and a Charizard foil. Um, rounding off to this pack, though, is Pidgeotto and a Charmander. There we go. I was just talking about that we had to hit Charizard and Charmander. And we, ooh, as I drop it, not good. All right, but there it is. All safe and sound. No cards are harmed during this filming. Um, but, yeah, so that... Just, I, this grip, guys, so much fun for me. So much nostalgia here. And honestly, I hit basically everything I wanted to. The only thing that would really probably put the icing on the top, and I really won't be mad if we don't hit it, is a Pikachu. But we'll see. Diglett, Nidoqueen, Poliwrath, RK9, that's cool. Fire, I love fire Pokemon, anything really. Beedrill. Um, that is a foil as well. I'm not going to make it out here. Mankey and Alakazam. I just picked up an old Alakazam also, which is, that's one of the cards I will show you coming on a future episode as well. We'll stick that in there. Actually, we'll put it on this side. Looks like we've got more room over here next to Squirtle. That way you guys can see it. But Alakazam, definitely one of my favorites. All right, we got two packs to go. I am still trying to take in that I just hit those two Charizards back to back. And I am definitely glad I ripped this open. I was definitely nervous about this happening a lot. But honestly, they're not stuck together too bad. And they're not taking a hit. And we hit a Ninetales too. Very nice. Ninetales right there. So Ninetales will make it on. Definitely one of my more popular choices to hit as well followed by an oddish we did it i don't think the opening of this box could have went any better we hit the pikachu foil 
Very nice. And honestly, guys, like, there's only, what, 10 foils? Yeah, there's only one foil in every pack, so there's only 10. So the fact that we hit Pikachu and Charizard in the one box, I am definitely ecstatic with because 2 out of 76. Um, and there's only 10 in the pack. You really can't do too much better than that. And hit all the base cards as well. But last pack, I mean, I would say last pack magic, but we don't even need it. I hit everything and I'm, that I'm content with. Um, and the last pack is definitely the most bricked one. So we hit the base Raichu. And our last hollow is going to be Pidgey. Very nice. Charmeleon and Pikachu and a Clefable or Clefable rounds that off. So there's the Pikachu and Charmeleon. So two nice ones in the last pack there. But that's going to bring us to our Sig Pull of the day. And our Sig Pull of the day, which you guys probably already know, how could anybody choose anything else besides the Charizard foil? If this was Topps Chrome, it would be even sweeter. But this is a Charizard from 1999. And boy, it's in pretty good condition. Besides, there's a little small issue at the top right corner. So it probably wouldn't be a PSA 10. But I don't think it would be too far off, off of one either. Definitely a sweet card that I'm happy to add to the collection. Let me know what you guys would have chose. I'm assuming that most people would choose Charizard as well. Um, the Pikachu certainly is awesome, along with the Charizard base, Raichu Hollow, Squirtle, Blastoise, Bulbasaur, Ninetales, Alakazam. It is all awesome. I love opening old Pokemon. I wish I could open a first edition for you, but hit that subscribe button, and maybe one day I will be able to open it for you guys. I really appreciate it. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up as well if you enjoyed that's all I got for today, guys. We will be running another Pokemon giveaway very soon, and we'll have some PSA Pokemon coming back for you guys, um, along with some of the new releases and some of my favorites coming back to the channel as well. And if you like sports cards, we also are running a giveaway. I will link that down in the description below for that giveaway as well, if you like both. If not, that's okay. We'll be back next Saturday with another Pokemon Saturday episode, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. I'm Sig Pulse. Later.